Hi streamers, Mistress Verse here with my very first Mix It Up tutorial. Today I'm going to show you how to create a health bar, that widget that depletes when chat enters in a command. So I'm just going to show you how this works a little bit right here. Um, I apologize for the streamception that's going to happen right now. I just wanted to be able to show my chat and the health bar together in OBS. So it's, uh, try not to get too dizzy, but basically this is how it works. You've got your health bar at the bottom here. And then when chat enters in a command, I have mine set to attack. It rolls a random number and it's going to deplete that number from the health bar. Now what is actually happening is that it's adding the number to the black bar, which is overlaid on top of the red bar. So it makes it look like the health bar is going down. Um, but yeah, as soon, as soon as the health bar is fully depleted, it's going to play an event. And that's how that works. So now I'm going to show you how to set this up in uh, Mix It Up. So first thing you'll need, let's go to my chat channel, um, ignore all of my commands here. You'll need to create a couple commands. I have mine over here in uh, under games. So the first command that you'll absolutely need is whatever you want your chat to type in to trigger that command. I have mine as attack. And then you could, all these other commands are optional. Um, but this one is the main one. So you can name it whatever you want. I have it named as attack. This is where you put in what you want your chat to actually type in. Um, I have auto include the exclamation point, so you don't need to type that at the beginning of that. And then you can adjust the usage requirements, the user roles. Um, right now I just have mine set to users because I want everyone to be able to use it, but you can adjust it to whatever types of users you want. Um, I have a two second cooldown just to slow it down a little bit, um, but you can set that what to whatever you want. And then first thing you'll need is a special identifier, which is going to be uh, a whatever you're going to assign this random number to. So this special identifier here, random uh, the dollar sign random number, will roll a random number from whatever amount you put at the end. So in this case, it's going to roll a random number between one and twenty, um, but you can set that to whatever you want and then it's going to assign whatever number it rolls to this identifier roll result. And then you need to create a counter. This is a, I just called mine health and I have saved a file and reset on load uh, save so that it just will, uh, you can reset it uh, easily and or like when you close that it will reset the health counter. And it, the action is update and it's going to update with that roll result. So this special identifier is gonna update with it whatever random number it rolls. And then I also have it send a chat message that has at username hits for whatever that roll result is. And that's the basics of that attack command. The other commands that are optional but um, can be useful are, um, I have a start encounter command that just, all this does is turn on the command, the attack command and the widget. So the attack command I typically have deactivated because I don't want chat being able to spam that anytime. I only want them to use it during this encounter. So I have enable command, chat, attack, the command is attack, and then here it shows the widget. It makes the health bar widget visible. And then the end encounter does the exact opposite. It turns off the health bar, it uh, makes it not visible, and then it uh, disables the attack command. So that brings it into that. I also have a reset health counter, which honestly you could actually put the reset health counter in the end counter if you really want to. I just have them separate from, for whatever reason. Um, but this, all this does is reset that health counter. So just the counter name and then the action is reset. Uh, but those are just useful to have on hand, especially if you end up having to end the encounter before the bar is completed. Um, the bar itself is designed to reset itself once it's, once it's completed, but if for some reason you have to end that earlier, it's, it's useful to have these commands on hand. So next, you're going to have to create the actual bar. The, you're going to come to Overlay Widgets, and I have mine just called Health Bar here. It's going to be, uh, if you click on Add Overlay Widget, it's going to be a Goal Progress Bar that you're creating. And with this bar, I have it set to just my default overlay, refresh time one second. 
The goal type is going to be custom. There are some pre-made goals here if you want to follow those, but uh, for those purposes, we're just going to use custom. And then the starting amount is going to be whatever that counter is that we created to um, keep track of the health. So in this case, it's just the health. So it's, it's just the um, dollar sign health on this one. And then the goal amount is whatever you want it to be. I just have mine set to 100. And then here you can make the bar look however you want. Uh, the progress color, which is the color part of the bar that's going to be, um, the number is going to be added to, is black and the background color is red. So basically every time the number is added to the black bar, it makes it bigger, which makes it look like the red is going down. Text color is white, and then you can have it be whatever font and um, width and height that you want. And down here, you can really finagle with the HTML and CSS uh, styling of the bar. Um, the default bar is just going to be a basic rectangle. Mine is a rounded rectangle because I just added in um, the border radius here. I just made it the, the borders a little bit rounder. Uh, and adjusted them slightly just to make sure that the bars, the two bars, the black bar and the red bar are completely overlaid. Um, and that's all I did here. And you can also adjust the, the text here. Um, I think by default it has both a number and a percentage on it. I just got rid of the number, just kept the percentage. And then on goal reach, this area is where you uh, create the commands that you want to go off when the goal is reached, if you want something to happen. Uh, in my case, I wanted the word victory to pop up and then I wanted to have like the Final Fantasy sound play. So here uh, for this goal reach, I have I have the health bar automatically reset itself and it also hides the widget at the same time. So it resets the, the health um, counter and hides the widget. And then the text uh, is going to pop up of victory, just to overlay image or overlay text. And you can style it however you want and I have it set for eight seconds. It bounces in and out. And then the sound, I just have a Final Fantasy VII victory sound that is just saved to my computer. You just browse and find that file, adjust the volume however you want, and that's it. Now, one caveat about the on goal reach is that this event only triggers once during a session or during a stream um, by default. The only way to get it to trigger multiple times, like say that you have multiple encounters and you want to just start over again, uh, and you want to be able to play this event at the end of it, you have to manually resave this widget. So you come down here and click this save button. And every time that you need to reset that, that um, event, you have to come here and click the bar, click that save button again. There's no automatic way to do that yet. And they don't really have a feature to allow multiple triggers um, of events yet. So right now you just have to manually do this if you want to, um, to do the event again. Um, you can still use the progress bar. Like if we come back to our stream section here, like the bar has been reset, so I can still do the attack commands and it'll still trigger. But if for some reason you haven't resaved the bar, what will happen is when it gets to the end, it will usually go over 100% and it will just sit there as a black bar. Nothing else will happen. So if you really want it to be, uh, to make sure that event triggers every single time, you have to make sure that you go back and reset or resave that widget after every time, after every encounter. And that's it. Hopefully you get some enjoyment out of this. Hopefully your chat enjoys this. And if you like this tutorial, please follow me on Twitter at Mistress First and on Twitch at Mistress First as well. And subscribe to this channel. Hopefully I will have more tutorials up um, about Mix It Up as well as other things. I'm still fairly new to the Mix It Up family, so I'm still learning a lot of things and just digging in and trying to see what I can create with it. But uh, if you follow me on the channel, subscribe. I will have more tutorials posted eventually. Thank you so much for watching.